The Lionish Josephine and his family reciting their Sabbath prayers. Soon there will be no Jews left in Kerala to keep alive a religious tradition dating back at least 1500 years. This family is intending to follow almost all their relatives and co-religionists and emigrate. We are thinking of going to Israel because I have to see the future of my children. Because here you won't get Jewish people. After I go there to Israel, I'll get all these whom I can get them married to. Once a Jewish religious school, this ancient building in Kachin is now Elias Josephi's nursery and aquarium. <laughs> Unbolt the doors at the back and you come across a treasure trove, a relic of a culture soon destined to disappear. This imposing synagogue has not seen a religious service since 1972. The scrolls once kept here are now in Israel. Otherwise, apart from the grime and dust, it's much as it was when the bulk of the congregation left India for the promised land. Elias Josephi's life has been intertwined with the history of this synagogue. He was circumcised here, he sat alongside his father on the wooden benches, he had his bar mitzvah in this building. Already, uh, Jewish people are dead in there. Already dead. So soon, there will be no Jews in Kerala. Yes. I'm quite sure what I'll do. Maximum 10 years. Maximum. Some distance away, in the oldest corner of Kachin, is another tiny Jewish community worshipping in this synagogue more than 400 years old. The name plates bear testimony to a long tradition of Jewish commerce almost certainly soon to end. This was once the center of the Jewish trading community in Old Pachin. It's the only community in Kerala still to have a working synagogue. But the Jewish population of Cochin's Jew town is now down to 18, almost all of them elderly. Still known as the white Jews, reflecting their Middle Eastern origin and camera shy, not wanting to be regarded as some anthropological specimen, even if that's what they now are. The main Jewish cemetery in Kachin, only the sturdiest of the graves, are still standing. Developers are starting to encroach on the site. Kerala's Jewish community is dying, and not even the dead will be allowed to rest undisturbed. Andrew Whitehead, BBC News, Kachin. <laughs>